it says Glosswitz Junction again and today we've got another review as you can see there's no loco we're just reviewing a box we're reviewing the Class 57 by Backman as you can see Backman Branch Line Model Railways um, and if we look at the end a bit closer Pride of Crew numbered it's 21 pin DCC ready. Product code is 32763. Class 57 dash 3. The dash 3 means it's the third type of 57 made out of a dash 9. So this is the third one made. The number of the loco is 57. 309 and uh, as I've said and it's also in D DRS compass blue so here's a brief history on the back if you want to read it go ahead I'm not stopping you they they were nicknamed um, body snatchers just over here because they were originally a class 47 but then they took the same body shell and just put a new motor in and then they renamed re like classed it to a 57 um they were like they were there's some makes down there down there and you got the website so yeah, the loco's over there on the track. So yeah, one seventy six scale, and we'll get to the instructions and stuff like that. You got these nice photo etched uh, name plates, Pride of Crew. don't know what that is then on we go to the paperwork this is how to add the detail this set what I got for Chris well the train what I got for Christmas it never came with a snow plow but I would like it with a snow plow but it doesn't really bother me anymore there's all the parts like buff bean parts around there. Now, the other side, how to take it off, like the body off. General, approximately one hour in each direction. Uh, body removal, how to fit, fit a DCC decoder, lights, just there. Uh, that's if you go to DCC, I guess. And on the bottom of it, it's got two switches. Um, there's a exploded diagram of the train. There's a DCC pin, the 21 pin DCC decoder. Here's all the different name, like the numbers on here. Like two is PCB and stuff like that. Accessory detail, where to lubricate the oil. And yeah, I think this that chassis, chassis or chassis, is all metal. That's what gives it the weight, and also the motor. It is one hev hell of a heavy mo model. You got your back. You got your warranty service request. You've got product maintenance and care. Then you got the Backman Collectors Club. I don't know if I should join it because I can't really be bothered to pay nearly forty pounds a year for to join. So put them away, and now we'll get onto the loco. What you've been waiting for, probably.
So, here comes a loco. It is one hell of a nice loco. I'll just be back in a minute. I'll just adjust the, I'll just adjust the tripod. So I'm back, and now I've just a tripod. We can have a look. As you can see, all of this underneath detail is amazing. Like, if we can get up close here, as if the camera wants to focus. You got your dials. You got your electric. The warning signs to say if there's when there's overhead wires, like if there is or isn't. You got your nice pipes along here. On the bogies, you got plenty of detail on there. And then you got your nice direct rail services, the compass just there. There's your where your Pride of Crew etched nameplates would go. And there's some more buffer beam detail not buffer beam, buffer beams around here. Uh bogey detail. This is what I mean, just here. Oh, you can't see it that way. Where it says cab. That means like the la the cab lights and then the tail lights. I've got them both on. I'll turn the cab ones off. So <clears throat> now we'll get onto the front of it. It was one nice model, as you can see. I've got the air brakes and brake pipes and all that. And you got this thing. I I can't really remember what it is. But it's like what couples up to pendolinos or just anything that really has broken down. And there's some more overhead wires. The lights is nice. The lamp iron, I guess, or something like what's on a car, the like a radar signal thing. The hook at the front. The large circular buffers are nice. They are sprung. Uh, the separately fitted handrail going along here, and is it? No, um, yeah. These are separately fitted hand wipers, and you can see a driver in there with half a window down. Also, there is cab detail in there, as you can see, which is nice. There's more of the cab. So yeah, it's quite nice. There's the etch grill, which if you rub your finger over it too hard, it, f it would feel like a cheese grater. You got your like an iron or aluminium step. Also, these steps here, um, if you go on PH Designs, they do the proper etched brass ones, which look m much more realistic, but I can't be bothered to buy off them because you either have to send a check or a postal check. And when I last ordered my 220, the cross-country train, it took them three weeks to get to me, like the train. Oh, just ignore that, that was me kicking my toolbox by accident. So now we'll go on to the roof. You got lovely exhausts just there. That's if the camera wants to focus. Thank you. Then you got like these doors here, these fans, if you can see them. They do go round. That's a, oh, you can't really see it. There you can. And then if I blow, so if you hear like a noise, just ignore it. <laughs> Don't know if you saw that. That's better. There. And you got the two etched 
each side. Uh, exactly the same other side, just with a NEM coupling. Sprung buffers. Then, I'm not sure what this is up top, up the top. Just up here, this enlarged bit. But wherever it is, it's nice. There's loads of rivet detail going along and around the fans, if you can see. Just on the other fan. Just there. As you can see, all the rivet detail going along. And then you got these side bits going along, like grills, I guess. And then you've got a little window here. This camera keeps going out of focus, which is annoying. Got separately fitted handrails going on down here. There's a bit of paint chipped off there, if you can see. Come on, focus, thank you. Just there's a bit of paint chipped off. Don't know why that's off. Nice detail around the buffer with like the screws. See, just like the screws there, exactly the same. So now we'll get on to running. Now I've got it on the track, and also I forgot to say this has been running. And as you can see, there is ballast down, but it, I'm not finished. I'm using the Woodland Scenics. I got it from Great Eastern Models in Norwich, so it cost me eleven pounds. Yeah, eleven pound. Well, ten ninety nine, but we'll just say eleven. Cause what's one p? As you can see, the class sixty six in the background, over there. Over there. Trying to get in the camera, but we're gonna ignore that and just move on to this so yeah let's get running controllers at 50% so this is what it's like zoom So that'll be it from me guys and if you've liked this video don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't and comment, it helps me a lot if you subscribe and like because then I know what to video and what other stuff I should buy. So yep, it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from the class 66. So don't forget to subscribe, bye.